In 2018, I reviewed the F4 Customs windshield for my 6th generation Goldwing. Now that I've put more than 20,000 miles on F4 Customs windshields, am I as impressed as I was in 2018? Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we have a passion for motorcycles. Now, if you share that passion, I would invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's completely free, and it only takes a couple of seconds. Yes, I actually timed it. Just one click on the subscribe button below the video, and then click on the bell icon to let YouTube know that you want to be notified when we come out with new videos. Okay, maybe it takes three seconds. Well, let's start the show. You know, as far back as I can remember, I've been hearing about how great F4 Customs windshields are. I replaced the windshield on my 2007 Goldwing with a Tulsa windshield, and it did provide additional wind protection, but it was very soft, and within weeks it had lots of these little hairline scratches that would catch the sun and drive me crazy. On my 2012 Goldwing, I replaced the factory windshield with a V-Stream. Now, it was better at shedding water than the Tulsa, but it required the application of an expensive and time-consuming treatment periodically. So when I got my 2018 Goldwing, I was determined to try the F4 Customs that I'd heard so much about over the years. I reached out to Don Frank and F4 Customs, and he agreed to send me three of their windshields to test and review for a video. They also paid a small fee to help offset the production costs of the initial review video. However, while that video was sponsored by F4 Customs, this long-term review video is not. No money exchanged hands for this video. And F4 Customs has no idea as to what I'm going to say in this video. Since my initial review of F4 Customs, I've now ridden with two of their windshields for the past two years. So it's time to give a long-term review and an update. But first, a little background on F4 Customs windshields. F4 Customs manufactures windshields for Harley, Honda, Can-Am, Spider, Indian, Polaris Slingshot, and Yamaha. So most of what I talk about in this video today could apply to whatever you ride. F4 Customs offers three different windshields for the 6th generation Goldwing. The 16-inch windshield is the same height as what comes standard on the non-tour model or the bagger. The 20-inch model is the same height as what comes on a Goldwing Tour from the factory. However, the F4 Customs windshields have a recurve at the top of these windscreens, which helps the air to flow better. Effectively, it's like adding another two inches to the height of the windshield. Now, the 24-inch model is four inches taller and four inches wider than the factory windscreen and is really great for taller riders and provides maximum protection for passengers. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to come back and give you my honest evaluation of the F4 Customs windshield after two years of riding with it. But first, let's review my initial experience with all three windshields. This is the 16-inch, kind of the shorty windshield from F4 Customs uh, with the recurve. Now, I've got it in the lowest position right now. And of course, I'm getting a lot of wind in the head. Uh, I'm six foot two, so this particular windscreen, and this is the tinted windscreen, which uh, you can get the tinting available in any of the models. Uh, it's too short for me because I'm six foot two. So if I raise it all the way up, it does do a pretty good job of keeping the wind off of my uh, face. At 65 miles an hour, it does a good job, this short windshield does a good job of keeping the wind off my shoulders and my chest, and I would say off my neck. I still get quite a bit of wind in the eyes, because again, at my height, this windscreen probably is a little bit short for me. 
This 20 inch screen from F4 Customs has also has that little recurve at the top and it feels like it gives about the same amount of uh, wind protection as my Honda tall windscreen. Now I'm gonna put it all the way up. When I put it all the way up, I'm going about 50 miles an hour right now. I'm not getting any buffeting on my head and very little wind on my arms. So this is actually a very nice option. This would be a standard replacement for a Honda, the stock OEM windshield, because they're both 20 inches. I can easily see over the windscreen, yet I don't feel any buffeting. So this is actually a very nice option. And I think it fits the look of the bike. I don't think I've ever had a windshield on a Goldwing that had this type of a crisp, clear, visibility to it. I mean, you don't even, you hardly even know there's a windscreen there. Even the recurve, there's no distortion at all on the top edge of the screen. This is the 24 inch, the tallest F4 Customs windshield. It's actually the same height as Honda's tall windscreen, but it's about four inches wider so I've got this at the lowest position right now and it's still providing some pretty good wind protection even at the lowest position. Of course this would be comparable to the uh, factory, the stock windshield, being almost at its highest position. Now this windscreen is a little different than the other two because it does not have the recurve at the top. It's perfectly flat. And like I noticed on the 20 inch windscreen, which was also clear, the optics are incredible. There's absolutely no distortion anywhere on this F4 Customs windscreen. Now I'm gonna raise it up. Oh yeah, see I'm in, a, I'm in a complete envelope. I raised it up about an inch and a half, two inches, and I can't feel any wind on my head. I can still see over the windshield. Now the camera is about five inches below my eyes, so the perspective you're seeing probably looks like you're looking through the windshield, but I'm actually able to see over the windshield. Now I'm actually heading into the wind. It's a pretty windy day. I'm going to raise this up all the way so you can see how high it goes. And when I raise it up all the way, I am looking through the windshield at six foot two. But if I bring it down to here, I can actually see over the windshield and I have a complete, uh, a complete envelope around me. I don't feel any wind or any air. If you want to watch my complete initial review of the F4 Customs windshields, I'm going to put a link up in the corner of this video and in the description down below. So make sure you check that out. Over the past two and a half years, I've put more than 20,000 miles on F4 Customs windscreens. For the first 15,000 miles or so, I was riding with the 24 inch tall windscreen. And for the past 5,000 miles, I've been riding with the 20 inch model. Both windscreens have performed admirably. The proprietary coating that's baked into these windshields has virtually eliminated those fine hairline scratches you get when you clean other windscreens. I wish Honda would license this technology from F4 to use on the clear dash lens. I mean, you know how easily that thing scratches. The windshields are not impervious to rock chips. I have one tiny chip on my 20 inch windscreen from a piece of gravel, but no polycarbonate or even glass windshield is going to protect from that. My 24 inch windscreen would rub on the little plastic winglets when lowered and F4 even provided some little clear strips to protect the winglets from this occurrence. Honestly, with the 24 inch windshield, you probably could just remove those winglets. I don't even know that they're of any use. I don't have that winglet issue with the 20 inch model. Maintaining the F4 Customs windshield has been completely trouble free. I mean, I don't personally use glass cleaner and paper towels to clean my F4 Customs, but it's nice to know that if I needed to, I could. Both of my F4 Customs windshields look as clear as the day they arrived. 
And when it comes to riding in the rain, these windshields do an amazing job of shedding water. I mean, the rain just literally flies off the windscreen. The additional width of the F4 Customs compared to the OEM windshield does a good job of keeping the wind off the arms and shoulders. Overall, the wind protection is far superior to that of the OEM windscreen. And after more than two years and 20,000 miles, I'm convinced that if you're in the market for a new windscreen, you should not be trying to decide whether or not to purchase an F4 Customs, only which F4 Customs to purchase. If you're six foot one tall or shorter, I think the 20 inch with the recurve is a great choice. I prefer how it looks on the Goldwing to the 24 inch model. It just seems to fit the design better. However, if you're over six foot one tall or you do a lot of highway miles with a passenger, the 24 inch is gonna provide the best protection. Now I'm nearly six foot two and I'm riding right now with the 20 inch and at highway speeds, it does a respectable job. If I were doing a lot of touring with a passenger, however, I would probably go with the 24 inch. F4 also offers windshields in tinted or clear. I prefer the clear, but the tinted does look really cool. And even with the tint, you can still see through it in the dark. So that's my long-term evaluation of the F4 Customs windshields. If you own an F4 Customs, let me know in the comments below what your experiences have been. Also, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you click that little like button to let YouTube know. Thanks for watching today, and remember to always ride safe.